this week, I'm going to spend just a couple of quick minutes talking about kind of something. My other favorite technology, talked a little bit about working with Fred on, is about podcasting. And we talked a little bit about why podcasting is a big deal. There are several reasons. First of all, it is becoming a much more popular, again, rising in popularity to its former status and even well beyond because of the advent of mobile devices. Even cars today, a lot of them are kind of moving towards the direction where you can connect to things like iTunes or distribution networks that provide podcast material instead of or in addition to radio stations. So what we're going to see is as a information delivery mechanism, it's going to slide right up in there, right up in there next to television and radio, and if people choose to consume that kind of content, that's just going to be an awesome kind of thing. So keep your eye out for the next week or so for something that I am going to be working with and I'm testing right now, and it's called Audello. This is from my buddy Josh Bartlett, who created Easy Video Suite and Easy Video Player. If you know Josh and if you use his products and stuff, you know his team creates some awesome software. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick look at this because in my testing, this is looking pretty sweet. Uh, let me ask a question. How many of you out there have a podcast? Anybody? Fred, you don't count because you got like five or six. Kyle, no, but I want my client to do one. Not yet, but I'd learn how to do it, says Tanya. Okay. Here's the thing with podcasts. Uh, if you have a podcast, what you're going to find, or much you may have struggled through before, is that it can be a little bit complicated and tricky to get them all out on the distribution networks. And like I say, I've been working with Fred, and it's really just been something that's kind of confusing to me. I care about doing this because as a video content creator, I already have audio. Every video I make, well not every video, but almost every video I make has audio. These webinar recordings have a whole bunch of audio content that could be leveraged into podcasts. And I'm not going to get into the why of podcasts at this particular point in time, other than to say that when I started looking at it and trying to have it explain to me how to set it up and how to do it and stuff. There's a lot of steps to it. And then there's the aspect of you have to host the file somewhere and all of this good stuff. Well, here's the bottom line, kind of the, the scoop on this particular thing called Odello. It makes it really nice and really easy to take my content, put it into a system, kind of like Easy Video Suite. I'm hosting mine on Amazon S3, but I don't have to connect to Amazon S3. I just drag my MP3 file, drop it in a box, and the system does all the work. Let's just see if I can log in here real quick. There it is, Audello. But I'm really kind of liking this. Today, Fred's been after me to do this for a while. Uh, let me just log in real quick. Um, so I'm going to sign in. Fred's been after me a while to do this, uh, is to get a podcast up. Well, to do that, you got to submit it to iTunes, and you got to wait for approval, and you have to conform to all the specs and stuff like that. And, yeah, it, it's okay, but it's just, you know, a little bit tough. <laughs> I'm going to go to the web app here. But what happened today was that I, I went ahead and logged in, went through the process here. I'm going to pause this little video. Everything's got videos and stuff. It has my little checklist here. So my setup is complete. Like I mentioned, I'm hosting mine on S3. So during the setup process, I was walked through how to connect my Audello system to my Amazon account. So now I never have to do that again. I never have to even think about Amazon S3 when it comes to podcasting. I don't have to use any app that connects me to Firefox, S3 Organizer, or anything like that. It's all built into my back end here. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to go to Files. And it essentially just walked me through the process 
of creating a new podcast. I clicked this button and it said, okay, tell me, where do you want to distribute your podcast from? And I picked iTunes. So it walked me through a little wizard. And here I'll just go ahead and click this. You'll notice that it said it was waiting for approval from iTunes. Well, I didn't go to iTunes. I didn't have to do anything. I just answered questions like this. And it took care of everything. It told me what to expect, what's going to happen, and all of that good stuff. I mean, it, it's just really kind of sweet and easy here. I thought that was quite amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to give folks a heads up on that because podcasting is something that I feel that I have personally been missing the boat on. Okay, I have a ton of great content because I have video content that already has audio in it. Okay. And I can export that and just reach entire new audiences. And the people that are doing this successfully, Fred actually interviewed a guy named Ray Ortega and myself. And we had just a wonderful discussion on, you know, the whole topic and stuff like that. But I'm missing an audience. And the people like Ray Ortega that are doing this and just rocking it are, I don't know, Fred, would you say they're wildly successful with huge audiences? <laughs> wild success and a huge audience that I'm currently not talking to, although I could and I should, right? So to me, it's just stupid for me not to be doing this. You know, I'll admit to doing foolish things unintentionally, <laughs> but I absolutely refuse to be stupid on purpose. So I'm going to stop doing that. And this is kind of where I'm kind of heading with that, right? So. There we go. Kyle asks, how long should podcasts be? 30 minutes? 15 minutes? I don't think there's any real limit on that, Kyle. And opinions will vary. There are podcasts that go for, you know, a couple of hours. It really depends kind of on your audience. Typically what you should do in, in general, and I think Fred has told me this before, is sometimes folks base it on a typical commute drive time or a typical workout time, because here's the thing. People will choose to listen to content when it's more convenient for them than watching a video, driving in your car, working out. You know, anytime you might have earbuds in and want to seek that kind of content. So 20 minutes of drive time, things like that, is probably a good way to go, right? Uh, Susan asks, is Audello a monthly service? Uh, you know, Susan, I don't have all the specifics on the pricing and stuff, but basically it's going to be, especially during the launch, I think, and I'm still talking to Josh about this, but I think it's going to be a, a one-time fee, kind of like Easy Video Suite. So probably in the 2 250 range for a one-time, you know, systemized piece of software. Don't hold me to that. I don't think it's going to be a monthly thing, although there may be some kind of content like, you know, typically software that has a one-time fee might have a membership where you can get extra stuff every month or something like that. But I don't think the base software is monthly. I think it's just going to be a, a good one-time shot. Uh, isn't the launch next week for Odello? Yes. Uh, and that's why I kind of put that link in there in the chat box. So what I recommend is you go to the link and sign up. Uh, I think I'm already signed up, but if you go here, there will be like an early bird list, and I'm actually going to be creating a bunch of content for this. I'm probably even going to create a separate email list for people that want to dive through it, test it, play with it, but not just with Odello, the content that we're creating, how it's going, what we're doing how to do podcasting, right? So there's a, there'll be a separate list because I don't want to be bombarding people that could care less about podcasting, you know, during a specific product launch. I'm going to try to tell people that it's important and things like that, but I have way more stuff to say than people on a regular email list will probably want to endure. I did this with the Video Genesis launch. And that turned out uh, pretty well. I delivered a ton of content, but only to the people that were interested in following me. 
as I went through it all. Okay, so I'll be putting that out in just a little bit. Skills and screencasts and podcasts is the thing that Fred and I are working on. Fred, we can send people there, can't we? I don't see why not. Let's put a link to our first podcast site. Skills in screencasts and podcasts. See some of the stuff we're working on here. This is actually a really good interview. Ray Ortega, oh my gosh. I was severely impressed with this guy. Yeah, so he's certainly going to be one of the go-to folks. And he has a reputation and a well-deserved one. I talked a little bit earlier about following pros. If you want to know, go to the pro. Okay? Hopefully that's why some of you are here, because i got some chops in certain areas, but there are things that I can't spend the time on uh, or haven't come up to speed on. So that's where I go. I go with the pros. And we're after the top of the hour. If anybody doesn't have a burning question, I guess we'll call it an evening. I will see you all next time, and have a good week. Okay. I think it's time.